about that in the pre easy out there, but what's it going to be like tomorrow? The, what's going to happen with the pitches and how cards are going to be when they get those right? Uh, I think it'll be difficult, um, particularly while the ball's hard. Um, I found when I first went out to the middle, um, I felt when you bowl a good length, there was enough up and down and sideways movement. Um, actually took, you know, my first probably 20 or 30 balls, I felt pretty vulnerable um, when they were bowling that good length. So um, Paddy hit it beautifully tonight. Um, I think that ball to Root's a, a blueprint of what we need to do tomorrow first thing in the morning um, and keep hitting that... Um, I think the quicks to keep hitting that top of the stump length um, and, and let the pitch do its thing. Um, mixed in, I think, with a good bouncer to play with their feet and um, you know, maybe get a bit of up and down as well. Sammy? Steve, was it always very catch and out there and be aggressive in that final position? Um, yeah, it was, it was just about trying to keep the game moving forward as, as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, well, at the start of the innings, as I said, I felt quite vulnerable. So it was about just, just getting through that um, with, a, with a good positive intent. Um, and then sort of once I got in, um, again, you know, they tried to bowl a lot of short stuff. And um, the spin, I, was, uh, I had a sort of, um, I made an effort to be quite aggressive against, against Leach because um, I felt that the quicks were going to be hard work. So... It was just about trying to manipulate his field as much as possible, hit as many boundaries as I could, and, and build that lead as much as possible. Barra? Uh, you did, well, you did a lot of talk of Campbell team and all that when you guys were going in England. So what is it about this Campbell team that is difficult to face? Is it in the air or off the pitches? Like, how do you cope with it? I think it's off the pitch, yeah. It's, um, that's the key, I think, to, to try and hit that. I don't know what it does when they scramble it, but I guess it just hits the ball in a different spot and therefore can move um, sideways. And there's no doubt um, in my mind that um, sorry, the seeming ball is the hardest thing to play in the game. Um, you don't have time to react, so um, you know, you've got to just play the line and um, if it goes in, you're a chance of get hitting the stumps and, and getting LBW. If it goes away, you're a chance of nicking it. So. You know, a couple of our guys have exploited that pretty well on this wicket. Um, and if they do that again and hit the top of the stumps um, that same length as, as the root ball, um, hopefully we can see a lot of, yeah, bold LBWs and caught behind the wickets. And just about that root delivery, like, you know, people say it's an unplayable ball. Do you think, like, deliveries like that are unplayable almost? Or you just, like, kind of, like, gambling on getting into line and just hoping that it doesn't, you know, seem past your line? I think... That's the length we've been trying to hit to root, particularly early on in his innings, and it's worked a few times. I think he's got our first ball a couple of times, and early on a few times with a very similar ball. So that's the sort of length we're trying to hit. And fortunately, Paddy did it first ball, and I, I've no idea if it moved or it kept low or or what. But the I think it's the length that's the most important thing, and that was a that was a good length. Rambo. No, look, it was, um, it's been tough with the new ball, I think, um, for, for, for both sides. Um, the ball's probably done its most when it's new and when it gets a little bit softer, it doesn't do quite as much, so it gets a little bit easier. But um, they've bowled pretty well with the new ball um, and I think they're particularly good bowlers to, to left-handed batters, um, both Broad and Archer. So it's not been easy for for Davey and, um, and Marcus, um, but they're trying their hardest, as, as we know, and um, they're working as, as hard as they can on their games to, to try and counteract it. But um, yeah, they've been, their, their opening bowlers have been, been too good, I guess, for, for the boys early on um, at the moment, but um, hopefully things can, can turn around um, in the last test match. Uh, I think when it is tough, you want your experienced players to, to step up. And um, 
yeah, I've, I've played quite a lot of cricket now, so um, you know I like to, to get in those situations and and try and be the one to to take the team through. And um, you know I was able to form a really good partnership with with Matty Wade, who I thought played very well today as well. Um, you know he had his plans in place to the spin. He was he was sweeping or, or lapping and manipulating the field. And then when they bought him there, he was able to defend. Um, and, and play okay, and um, and he was hitting the loose balls from the quicks, which is, which is what you want. So um, you know that partnership was was really handy for us at that stage. Um, England were really up and about um, with us four four down, um, but yeah, a good half an hour um, of batting and, and things got a bit easier for us, and we were able to to form a, a nice partnership and hopefully one that'll, that'll set us up for this game. And there was a fair bit said that Jock Archer winning the doubt batting certainly that we could hear on the. I have no idea. I don't even know what was said. So, um, yeah, he bowled some some quick balls today, but he's a fast bowler. That's what you expect. James, Steve, I know you touched on David, but A, just how's it going mentally, and B, have you spoken to him? Do you, do you work with him at all, or has he come to you for advice on things that you may have noticed in his game that he that he's not doing now that he was when he has been calling on? Yeah, we've we've talked um, a few different things here and there. Um, just trying to form a, I guess a, a plan to to get through Broad. Um, you know, I think he, he's admitted himself that Broad's had the wood on him throughout this series, um, and we've yeah he's, he's been talking to myself and Justin and um, and Hickey I think about ways that he can he can play. Um, he's tried a couple of different ways and they haven't quite worked. But Davey's a, a quality player and um, yeah he's he hasn't had a great deal of luck this series either. Um, Hopefully he can, can turn it around and, and get a big one for us at the Oval. So Rob, Tony and last one, Joe. You all right? Okay, Rob and last one, Joe. Um, did Tim or Justin have anything to say to the group after play? And I suppose it's a hard to block out the fact that you might be you know, eight wickets away from a win and what that means in terms of retaining the Ashes over the years. Um, no, we haven't had a chat yet. Um, maybe after I finish here, I'm not sure. But for us, I think it's... It's pretty clear what we, we need to do tomorrow. Um, you know, Quicks hit the good length, Gazza hit the rough as much as possible, and when he bowls to left-handers, just pitch it on the stumps and, and try and hit the stumps as much as possible and, and bring LBW and, and court behind the wicket into play. Um, so I think it's just about relaxing and um, you know going out and just enjoying it and and hopefully executing our skills well enough to, to bowl England out tomorrow. Uh, I've I've heard a few different things, but yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not in the the game for personal accolades. Um, I'm here to do my job and um, score as many runs for the team as I can. And fortunately, this series I've been able to to score quite a few and um, and and help the team as much as I can. And um, hopefully, I can do that again next game.